Hello there and welcome back. This is day number five of water only fasting and it's been another good day. Um, really no complaints to speak of per se and I am feeling fine now and I just came back from a really powerful influential lecture from Dr. Douglas Lyle, who is a psychologist who has been with True North Health Center here since the very, very beginning in 1984. He co-wrote the book, The Pleasure Trap, with Dr. Alan Goldhammer, the founder of True North Health Center. And he's a wise and insightful man. I almost wanted to raise a hand and ask him, what makes your level of logic so rare? It's a question I asked Jock Fresco, who I thought was the most brilliant man on earth. And Lyle gets things on a deep, deep level and understands our motivations and why we do the things we do. And he talked about the pleasure trap and he talked about the ego trap. And this was really powerful stuff. He said the ego trap material didn't end up in the pleasure trap book because he discovered it about a year or two later after writing the book. Uh, so we got the full full lecture and it was really good and it just uh, it confirmed things I was already saying today in fact and it gave me permission to not need to shoot for perfection on the diet thing I've been going around with this question why would we put anything in our body if we knew it wasn't good for us why would we do that and obviously there are a number of reasons but you can't eat out and, and not and you know and not eat something unhealthy salt fat sugar that's what restaurants sell um, you can't be social without it you can't expect to go to someone's home and they're going to make you plant-based whole food no salt no sugar no oil because we don't eat that way and and it's very challenging to get food to actually taste good that way missing all of those factors but he also says that when they put the combination of those factors and they combine them with meat and dairy and the salt oil sure, you're hyper stimulating your dopamine and your deliciousness factor and taste buds and then you end up craving that and that's part of the pleasure trap so really powerful lecture and I really perked up. I've been just hanging low all day here like I've been doing all along. But when I get in the, the dining room down there where they have the lecture and I'm around all the people here, it's very social, as I've mentioned, um, that I come alive and I'm talking and I'm expending energy. And people say, you seem to be doing great. And I am. It's just that for the whole day here until the lecture that happened at 6.30 tonight, I was um, just very sedentary, watching videos and staying real mellow. So, um, last night I had uh, another kind of fitful night. I had a long stretch, maybe six hours of sleep, which was great, and, uh, and didn't sleep much more beyond that. When I did fall asleep in the early morning hours, uh, I was awakened with, ooh, nightmare crazy, really crazy funky dream. And a friend's cat was there, and he kept standing up on two legs and he wanted to grab my hand. I was like walking hand in hand with a cat, <laughs> walking on two legs. The cat's really a character anyway, but this was beyond the beyond. And a few friends were in the dreams, kind of fun. There was food in the dream and uh, oh boy, we were at some place and they brought out all this food, all this pizza and everything. And oh, it looks so delicious. They had like every kind of pizza, French bread pizza and the, the focaccia pizza and a regular thin pizza and bowls of cheese. And I, I made a little mistake. It's funny, in all my dreams, I'm fasting, but I ate a little piece of, I mean, a tiny piece of like a cheddar cheese and I was chewing it up. I thought, oh shoot, I'm not supposed to be eating. Whoops, okay. And that's all I had, it was cool. And then I, I, I left there and, I, and the cat was around and I, I went by some house and I looked over and there's this snake and it's like coming up off the ground. It was like across a sidewalk from me, but all of a sudden it just shoo, lunged at me and I caught it between my knees and stopped it. And then I woke up and my heart was pounding. So crazy nightmare there. Um, I did after just yesterday in my video saying that I had not had any toe foot cramps. I did have a little, little bit of a foot cramp uh, early this morning and uh, decided, okay, let me get out of bed and handle this. I got out, I walked 
a few steps and it was gone it was fine but so those aren't entirely gone completely and, and, for, and for good necessarily but um, it seems like they're not coming from anything I was eating because I haven't eaten in five days and I still had it uh, I don't see how it could be coming from a lack of hydration because I've been drinking a lot since I'm fasting so anyway it's all puzzles to, to figure out and solve I guess um, so uh, I, I felt you know, maybe I had low energy today, but I think it's that whole concept of you stay mellow and so your body just sort of adapts and you have low energy. Um, like I said, I came alive tonight when I was social. So um, there you go. Quick report today, not too much to say. Again, it was just a, a really, really beautiful lecture with Dr. Lyle. And, and I also want to share here too that what I was saying earlier today is I think if we can adopt a 90-10 lifestyle. Most of what we eat is plant-based, whole food. I use very little bit of oil at home, little bit of salt. We don't keep any sugar in the house. We don't eat any desserts in the house. It's a hostile environment in the outside world. Temptation is high. If there's a parking spot in front of the Arizmendi Bakery, it feels like it's beckoning me. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give my per permission to myself that that that's okay if that happens sometimes. And, and I can go and, and have that little treat. Um, they have the vegan muffins and, and things. They have the, the cinnamon rolls hard to resist though. And it's not vegan, it's not gluten-free. But again, we eat about 90 meals a month. If you think about it, three meals a day, 30 days a month, average, average, yeah, it's 90 meals. So if you ate nine times that wasn't your ideal, your optimal, your target diet, that's only 10% of what you're eating. You know, there's the 80-20 rule that people talk about in the world. So 20%, phew, that's 18 meals. You can, you can fudge it a little, have a little, you know, animal or dairy product or a fish or something or, or you know, have the, the prawns at a party on the platter or something. And that might not be the end of the world. I was shooting for perfection. And what I learned in Dr. Lyle's lecture tonight was if you shoot for perfection, it's a trap. So lower the bar. Don't set an impossible bar. What a beautiful, beautiful lesson that was. Um, it was, uh, I, I kind of liken it in a way to in acting school when they said, hey, permission to suck. You know, just get up there and do something. Go with the moment and give us what you got. If it sucks, cool. We'll just give you feedback and help you improve for next time. But that, that is a great rule for life maybe too. Permission to suck. Say we blow it. Okay, great. All successes uh, were based on many failings to get there. So I'm, uh, I'm going to be reasonable with myself. That's maybe the most important. It's a hostile environment out there. Temptation is everywhere. Hyper-stimulating foods are the pleasure trap. We are an ultra-social being, and it's very difficult in our culture to be social and eat in a plant-based, whole food, no salt, no oil, no sugar way. Um, and, and yeah, you can be the guy who goes to the restaurant with people and, can I have steamed vegetables, please? No salt, no oil, no butter. And maybe some just rice. <sighs> Green salad, no dressing. He could, but th does that sound appetizing at all? Does that sound reasonable? So we eat really well at home and uh, we don't keep a lot of the bad stuff in the house. So I think if, if when I'm out, have whatever you know looks good, maybe try and be reasonable and not go all the way crazy and have the cheese bacon cheeseburger and the French fries and the milkshake, okay. And maybe you can have a little ice cream from time to time, but not all the time. And don't keep it in the house, because if there's a pint of ice cream in the freezer, it won't be there long in my house, if I'm there. <laughs> so I'm being honest with myself and being honest and sharing this with you. And that's, that's uh, a great lesson for me. And again, my purpose in life is to inspire, educate, and share. And hopefully that I have some impact and can make a positive influence in your life. And if not, hey, I have no expectations, and maybe more importantly, I have no attachments to outcomes. So you do whatever the heck you want, and you're probably not even doing what you actually want anywhere. You're following subconscious decisions that are being made for you, just like I always have. 
we're, we're, we're all the same at our core, really. But we all come from a long, long line of ancestors who did well enough to survive and to reproduce in order for us to be here. So that's a, a beautiful thing to consider as well. Thanks for joining me. Day five, tomorrow's day six. I'm going to fast for somewhere between seven to ten days. I'm still going to leave it up to how I feel and what my bio indicators say so far. Temperature's been great. Blood pressure's been great. Pulse has been great. Weight is down, 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 down. I've lost 12 pounds since I've been here. I've been here for eight days now. Um, I lose about two pounds a day on the fasting. So um, I, I know what my target body mass index is and what my like low limit is and i'm not going to blow through that if i if i hit it if, if if i hit that there's the the target and then the three pounds less like maximum low limit um if i hit the target it's like mm, yeah i think tomorrow i'm going to go back to juicing <laughs> but uh so far I've, I've got like eight pounds eight three sorry i've got five pounds to go till i hit the target and then they're two, three more pounds to the limit. So that's, that's an eight pound range to the limit. We'll see what happens. I'm not going to, not going to go crazy. I'm not going to starve myself. I'm not going to put myself in any danger at all. I feel that everything I've done thus far has been completely safe, completely vetted out by over 20,000 people. They've fasted here at True North Health Center. I really, really believe in fasting, I believe in this center. I believe in the wisdom of Dr. Goldhammer and Dr. Lyle. Look them up. There are tons of lectures on YouTube. I posted the lecture from Dr. Goldhammer on YouTube from yesterday, and it was very good as well, two days ago. And uh, I didn't, didn't capture a video of Dr. Lyle tonight. Uh, his associate actually captured video on a good camera, and he was wearing a lavalier, so the sound would be a lot better than my cheesy iPhone video. So um, look them up. That's if it's one thing I, I might inspire you to do is get educated as I have through through people who are thinking very differently than what the American system preaches. The medical industry that influences. I'm sorry. Yeah, the medical industry, pharmaceutical medical industry that influences the medical schools. So even the doctors that get trained get told a whole bill of goods that helps sell poison, whether it is big ag food or pharmaceuticals or medical procedures that we wouldn't need if we just ate in a, in a completely consistent way with our health. Plant-based, whole food, SOS free, no salt, oil, or sugar. We just watched the documentary, The Game Changers, today. Finally, people have been insisting I watch it, and it's been on my list. Today was the day. Wow! Super powerful documentary. Excellent work. They covered a lot of bases. They proved things over and over. If that doesn't convince you, you have a mental block, your ego's getting in the way, you're food addicted, or you're being unreasonable. Check out the Game Changers and just consider how much of your life you can make healthy, whatever you interpret that to be. So go with love, as always. See you soon.